where someday soon I am just going to disappear. And you won't have any idea what happened to me. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, Justin here as always, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Let's talk about a movie. So folks, being the refined older gentleman that I am, uh, I was fortunate enough, I look at it as a fortunate uh, thing, that I was one of the very, very last generations to be born pre-internet. Uh, when I was younger, going through elementary school and middle school, going through those super awkward years where your body is changing, you don't know who you are, you don't know your place in the world, you're confused, you don't know what happens after high school, every moment feels crushing because Everything, every small little tiny feeling is just magnified in your hormone infused teenage brain. And the way I expressed myself in that awkward era was wearing gigantic Jinko jeans and listening to Marilyn Manson and painting my fingernails and putting my hair in front of my face, listening to my portable CD player, walking through the halls of my school and not talking to anybody. I was, I was that kid. Mom, it was never a fit. Lifestyle. Kids these days have it even worse because of course we all deal with those same things no matter what generation you're in, only now everything is compounded by the internet. Most of my life is extremely going downhill because I'm getting acne and I'm getting fat and I'm balding right here if you can't see the whole triangle that I just like a piece there, I'm balding, I'm balding, <laughs> I'm turning ugly and my face is getting fat because of the day I can't even shower for work. Ah! Everything is online. A lot of the way these young people seek validation now is through the internet, whether it's posting a TikTok or a selfie or a YouTube video, or in this case, uh, a ch an internet challenge. So I'm going to do the original Tide Pod challenge. Uh, the internet can be amazing, but it can also be devastating for people who are susceptible to depression and uh, all of the, the dark side of social media, the dark side of parasocial relationships. Anissa Wire was one of two teens found guilty by a Wisconsin jury of trying to kill her classmate to please a mythical character known as Slender Man. That is what is at the core um, of We're All Going to the World's Fair, guys. This was a really interesting movie. I'm, I'm so glad I watched it. We're All Going to the World's Fair tells the story of teenager Casey, who becomes immersed in an online role-playing horror game challenge creepypasta thing, wherein she begins to document the changes that may or may may not be happening to her. There's a lot of fresh blood in this movie, which I really like. The movie was written and directed and edited by Jane Schoenbrunn in her featured directorial debut. Another newcomer is the star, Anna Cobb, who plays the main character. She's fantastic in this movie as Casey will get into her role. This movie was also executive produced by David Lowry, who actually made last year's The Green Knight. Uh, a couple years before that, he made The Ghost Story. It's really interesting way of presenting the story in this found footage, uh, sort of, uh, found footage in the way that it's just a lot of this girl Casey in front of her computer and or filming herself for the remainder, the entirety of the film really. There's very little setup to both the challenge and our main character. We basically are introduced to this character very intimately. The movie opens up with her in her bedroom, uh, eating a piece of string cheese, looking at the computer, working up the nerves to take this challenge, put herself out there on the internet and see what happens. Hey guys, Casey here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking the World's Fair Challenge. Now I don't want to spoil everything about what the challenge is because it's kind of an interesting aspect of the opening scene of the movie, but it's super, super ambiguous and it seems kind of insignificant. It's a short video that she watches with a bunch of flashing lights and then it's over. The bulk of the movie and what makes it absolutely fascinating is how uh, the rest of the movie plays out with her just filming herself, waiting for these changes to take place. Supposedly, after watching this video, you will be changed forever. There's no going back after taking the World's Fair Challenge, which is essentially just watching a short video on YouTube. The movie and the scenes are intercut with this loading screen as different people who have taken the challenge uh, post their videos, post the changes that have happened with them, some severe changes, some people with no changes at all. The story also fragments into these Skype conversations with really the only other character in the movie who sees Casey's video online and warns her of the effects and uh, starts to become mildly obsessed with her. His sort of intentions are kind of ambiguous as well, so you really don't know he's much older than her. 
but it's sort of an ambiguous character that adds a little bit of tension to the story through these Skype phone calls. And this is a feature acting debut from Anna Cobb, or Ann Cobb, who plays our lead main character, uh, Casey, and she is asked to do a lot of what would kind of be described as embarrassing shit to anybody else. Like, these are a lot of super, super intimate moments, supposedly of this character's life in her bedroom that she's sharing with the world that are at times uncomfortable and embarrassing and sort of cringy. There's this weird elongated, like, dance sequence that goes on for a long time, and she really just fucking throws herself into this role with no inhibitions. She's very natural, and it has to be, because oftentimes when movies do things like this, where you have somebody supposedly shooting YouTube videos, it always feels a little corny or forced or super rehearsed. She has a very natural presence on screen that makes this work, as does the other performer in the movie. The entire bulk of this movie essentially is this young person filming this YouTube video and then filming herself sleep at night filming herself in the woods, documenting every little change uh, that may or may not be actually happening, but this does lead to some genuinely creepy, creepy scenes. You're not sure if this is like some weird mental illness that's, you know, happening in this world. We're just watching this, you know, poor mentally ill person's like uh, downfall or they're just like, uh, deterioration of her mental state, or if she's actually been affected by this World Fair Challenge, you really don't know. Uh, up until the very last moment of the movie, you're still kind of swimming in thoughts of like, what the fuck is happening in this movie? And that's the charm. This movie may not work for everybody. Uh, if you're not into like movies like Host or uh, Unfriended or, you know, even aspects of like the Blair Witch or like found footage films or internet based films, this may not be for you. It's not a quick, quickly paced movie. You have to wait for the scares, wait for the thrills. But if you stick with the movie, um, and it hooks you at the beginning like it did for me, I think you'll get a lot out of it. Especially a younger audience who has to deal with so much this social media stuff at a very young age. Some people embrace it and excel and some people don't. The more introverted people um, oftentimes maybe struggle. It's a, it's a very, very interesting movie that should be seen with people who are interested in parasocial uh, relationships, who are interested in content creating, who are interested in the weird side of social media and the dark side of uh, social media, because um, this is a very intimate portrait of what can go wrong. Just uh, don't look for everything to be tied up in a real tight bow for you, because you're not gonna get that, but if you like an ambiguous, slow thriller horror, uh, I think you'll dig it. So guys, let me know what you think. If you guys have seen the movie, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but guys, I think we're done here. Thank you so much. Stay weird. Remember to always be yourself and I will see you in the next one. Unless I take the World's Fair Challenge and you never see me again. Bye.